Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. Here another video with review and unboxing of Bezalus smartphone. This time it's Ulefan Max. It's one of the cheapest Bezalus phones with attractive design and good specification list. Ulefan Max has 90.2 person screen to body ratio, minimum bezels on the three sides, and home button with fingerprint sensor under the display. New smartphone look like Elephone S8 and Wicca World Mix Plus. You can watch review on this smartphone by the link in description. By the way, the price of Elephone Mix is about $140. As I already said, it's one of the most affordable bezel smartphones on the market. So let's start review with unboxing. Elephone Mix comes in white box. Here we can see smartphone image on the front panel. On the back there is specification list and some detail about smartphone, for example, colors, model number and others. Inside the box is smartphone itself. It has factory film with smartphone features. You should remove it before using the smartphone. Also, Yulfan Mix has quite good package content. There is silicon protective case, SIM needle, an additional protective film on display, user manual, USB cable, charge, phone holder. I like that many Chinese manufacturers put silicon case inside the box. It's very useful, user does need to buy a protective case by yourself. Yulvan Mix is really compact smartphone. It comes with 5.5-inch display, but its bezel-less design provides compact size. On the front panel there is a big display, and home button with fingerprint sensor, front camera and light sensor under it. Above the display there is only earpiece. By the way, the front camera of Elephant Mix is 50% smaller than regular selfie camera. The smartphone doesn't have proximity sensor, it's full fit by the software optimization. New smartphone has 5.1mm extra narrow metal frame and Conning Gorilla Glass 3. It ensures good protection of the smartphone from scratch and falls. The cover's edge also protects smartphone, and thanks to them, the device looks good. At the back we can see dual rear camera and flash on the right side of it. Also there is compact logo Ulefan. At the bottom you can see micro USB port and speaker. 3.5mm audio jack is located on the top side. On the left has volume rocker and power keys. The slot for a SIM card and micro SD memory card is on the right side. So, the main feature of Ulefan Mix is bezel-less design. The smartphone really looks amazing. Yulfan Mix is equipped with 5.5-inch display and resolution of HD 1280 by 720 pixels. It's covered by Koning Gorilla Glass 3. If you look at official photos, then smartphone doesn't have bezels at all on three side. To be honest, there is black bezels about 1 or 2 mm. The display still look amazing though. It's HD display, so it may have some visible pixels. We already compare HD and 2K display. HD one is more brightness, but is still less crisp. However, Elephant Mix has excellent color reproduction and high contrast ratio. The smartphone runs on pure Android 7.0 Nougat operating system. There is no Chinese apps and settings. Here you can see original home screen and widgets. The setting menu provides familiar options, such as network settings, screen, security, fingerprint sensor, about phone and others. There is no special features from Chinese manufacturers. It's stock Android system with split screen, standard camera app and others.
you'll find Max's budget smartphone with price tag about $140. However, it comes with quite good hardware. The smartphone is powered by MediaTek MT6750T processor with clock speed 1.5 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, and 64 GB of internal storage. The storage is expanded via microSD memory card up to 256 GB. The chipset is able to play Full HD videos at 60 FPS. As for the graphics, Melee T860 MP2 provides quite good performance for most Android games. I don't notice any lags and breaks in software, thanks to 4GB of RAM. I play some games, launch Google Chrome with other app and smartphone runs great. Later, I will make special video with performance test Ulefan Max with all benchmarks and games. But now I want to show you Antutu and Hig Bench 4. As you can see, the smartphone has about 41,000 in Antutu test. The Geekbench 4 shows about 619 in single core test and 2564 in multi core test. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers not to miss video with performance test of Ulefan Max. You may notice that Ulefan Max has dual rear camera. It uses primary 13 megapixel Sony IMX256 sensor with aperture f2.2 and secondary 5 megapixel sensor to take photo with bokeh effect. In other words, secondary camera allows to blue the background, so photo looks better. Next to rear camera setup is dual LED flash. It eliminates images in low light conditions. On the front panel there is 13 megapixel camera. The camera app provides beauty mode to make perfect selfies. Later, I will publish video with detailed camera test. I will take photos and recording videos in different conditions and show all camera settings and modes. Please check out description under the video, maybe the video is already there. The smartphone has compact size, but manufacturer managed to insert a good battery. Its capacity of 3300 mAh. The smartphone doesn't support fast charge, so full charging time should take about 2.5 hours. The manufacturer says that Ulefan Mix runs all day on single charge. I will make my own battery test and show you real battery life and charging time in my next video. It's my unboxing and first review video of Ulefan Max. The smartphone has very attractive design, good display and decent hardware. Now we need to test performance, camera and battery to make final conclusion about smartphone. You can find these videos in descriptions. If you want budget bezel-less smartphone with compact size, then Ulefan Max may be a good option. Of course, its main highlight is bezel-less design, but it also has good hardware. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.